Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGad21. Welcome back to Let's Play Digital Devil Saga 2. In the last episode, after a few heart punching hits to the face and to the emotional heart and the physical and the stomach. Basically, after an emotional roller coaster, we finally made it to the sun. Now, Sarah and Surf have combined into one singular entity. Heat has rejoined us. And now we have to go basically f talk to God. Which most likely revolves us uh, cutting him into pieces and devouring his corpse. Because that's how this, how this fucking shit goes. So, back into the sun we go. Which looks like a dungeon straight out of Jade Cocoon, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, well, the left side was a bust. Now we need to go to the right, then. The core shield effect has ended. Well, I see an elevator and damage corridors. Okay, well... More core shields. Oh, hi, Gira Makala. Nice to see you. Look at that, more Jasmines. I got a feeling I'm gonna be collecting a lot of those. And also, I learned something. Doing a little bit of a... Uh, purple Crystal, thanks. Doing a little bit of uh, research involving the uh, Atma bonus and premium skills, they do stack onto each other. As well as... Uh, who has the passive? Uh... Do we even have the passive? I don't think we do. No, wait, we do. Okay. Item find stacks with itself, so long as all three members are in the are in the party. Okay, so yeah, the AP skills stack onto each other, and the AP divide gives a better percentage to everyone else. When the other person just hogs it all, blah 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 blah. Okay, so uh, basically everything stacks onto each other. Yada yada yada. I don't know why I have to talk like I'm uh, running a marathon. Well, you guys are a sack of dicks. Oh no, electric drain, whatever, whatever will I do about that? Charm slash Counter-Strike and Null Risk. Well, let's see what Null Risk is. Let's see here. Null Risk. Decreases surprise attacks. So you're telling me I can not get as ambushed as often. What the fuck? That would have been useful a while ago. Man! I'm so... I'm not as annoyed as that skill being in the game. I'm annoyed that's label as no risk it's like I don't know what that means so is it actually worthwhile to get I don't fucking know turns out yes because surprise attacks are annoying as fuck I hate being ambushed like this prana beam where's it pronounced mana beam I, or is it black? Technically, mana, not mana, but the. Uh, 
Different cultures, different pronunciations, different fucking spellings of the same fucking word. Or is it Ra or is it Rana? It's Prana, Rana, or Mana. One of the three. I'm never sure which. Oh wow, Seraph even does the little uh symbols with the hands. Oh no, a physical attack. Actually, Gira McCullough, what the hell are you weak to? Let's see. Spyglass. Expel slash charm. Of course it is. Ah ha ha how? Use a bitch, Gear McCall, that hurts. Okay, so I need, desperately need to update uh, Archula and Heat's uh, moveset quickly. I definitely should have spent a lot of time grinding up the uh, hunt spots while Archilla and Roland were still in the party <laughs> before this. That's my bad. Congratulations, Gail, you're now level 55 like the rest of us. That's back to where we were, and here's the glowing elevator. Going up. Okay, so we got holes that lead down. Treasure over there. Hallway over there. Well, let's go for this one. And this is Ice Wall. Is this a one-way door? Yes, it is. Down we go. Well, now they, now they really are just making fun of me. But we just have them talk to the hand. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, here's the thing, though, uh... People? I am going to cast this and kill you. <laughs> Heat is confused. I'm actually okay with that. Okay, heal back up to full. Okay, we're back down here. Fantastic. Okay, so far the main gimmick of the final dungeon is uh, doors that lead to the bottom and damage tiles. Well, floor floors that lead to the holes in the floor that lead to previous floors. Talk about a fucking tongue twister. Shit. 
Are you fucking kidding me with this? Great! We're charmed too. Well, that's fun. Okay. Fine, you want to play like that? We'll play like that. Oh, fucking Argilla, you stupid fucking bitch. Why can't you dodge a fucking tornado in your face? Come on. Fine. If I'm going to be running into fucking assholes... I like to throw fucking wind bombs in my face. I'll have fucking Argilla be in the back until we can get her fucking resist. Of course, now I gotta redo that. Now I need ah, balls. Uh, we're in for a long haul because I wanna run with the original squad. This is gonna be fun. Core shields effect is ended. Yada yada yada. I don't actually need to head down the damage hallway, so forget about it. I'm gonna grab this. Then circle my way back. Wait a minute. Gonna grab this. As for you, we're gonna grab this. And we're gonna grab this. And I guess I'll hold off an iron stomach for a bit. Oh wait, no, I can just get rid of uh, Mutual Karma. What am I thinking? Oh no, you put an Electricity Draining Shield. I'm so worried about that. Oh yeah, Seraph needs to get the uh, kills with the foot hunt skills right now. I forgot. I did not update their stuff. Hi, Gear McCalla. Oh, hey, you both survived. Fantastic. We pass. Consume. <sighs> no more ambushes, please. Or the very least, have it very, very, be very minimal. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. I guess we get rid of Ice Amp so I don't suffer from ambushes for a bit. What am I saying? I'm gonna suffer for ambushes regardless. Okay, so grab this. Two ice walls. Okay, that weighs a one way door, so we can ignore that. Oh, 
I'm sorry, did Ser Seraph just uh, disappear? Like, blink out of existence? Okay, sure. I don't know if that's the actual dodge animation or if it's an emulator glitch. I am not gonna bother asking questions. Oh yeah, high counter is a thing. Did one of you dodge this? Is that why you're still alive? Apparently so. Oh hey, another flower, another lily, another lily to sell. Hey, plus one magic. Oh yeah, might as well use these like I th said I would. Do 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 do. That's better. That's a better stat line. It only took so many. Oh yeah, damage tile over there. Let's ignore it and go over here. Hi, Jack Frost. Oh, well, thanks for the Dakaja rock. It'd be nice if uh, you could give me a Dakunda stone, but those don't exist in this game. They don't exist in the last game either for some reason. Okay, that looks like a one-way door. Looks like I only got one option. Time to go through the door. And let me guess, you're gonna put me inside damage. Yeah, Seraph is literally just blinking out of existence. Okay, this takes me to right in the middle of the thing. Son of a bitch. Damage tile it is. Which means I'm gonna have to head back anyway. I need to head back to Dr. Johnny to get some core shields. Okay, so you're literally just backstep Korean backdashing your way through damage. I see how it is. Okay, well, if that's the case, go back up to full. Go back down the stairs. Head back to the entrance. So far, I've only found the giant save point at the start of the dungeon. Oh boy, Triple Scotty! How about y'all fuck off? Great, you lived. Get shot. Oh boy. 
Well, I did it. Ugh. So far, this uh, dungeon's being a more pain in the ass than the last final dungeon we went to. How about I stop acting stupid and actually say the proper fucking vernacular? So far, this dungeon's a lot harder than the Karma Temple, but then again, with the Karma Temple, it was, was my, like, what, fourth time going through? Never been the, never been here before. On the plus side, if these fuckers drop a shit ton of flowers, then that means that I can do a bunch of box gambling and get a bunch of incenses. It's just gonna take fucking forever. Secret mantra has been unlocked. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's been nothing but a stat boost the entire time. Through the power of the hidden mantra, the party's magic has increased by three! Oh, we got another one. Esoteric 8 has been unlocked. Sleep induced slash sleep related skills. No sleep and mana walk. Well, the mana walk is nice, but is the no sleep any useful in this game? Because I don't think uh, there's an instant kill mechanic that requires us to be sleeping to dodge it. At least I hope not. Okay, so... Actually, what I should do is get up to Holy Beast for Heat. And Argilla as well. Basically, I, everyone should have a Holy Beast if they want to get their mantras unlocked. Fast. What's this? Close Call Attack on Sakura Rage. Okay. I'm gonna guess this is where Ragnarok is. Okay, so... Let's see, we need to get... Is anyone working on, uh... What is this? Recardra? I don't think anyone has that. Okay, so once our Jilla masters this, we'll be able to grab this. And once she has that, th then we can start working on getting all the way over down here. No, wait, up here. Okay, so Heat's on his way to get this. Oh, choices, choices. Fuck it. I got the money. I might as well have Seraph learn this. Uh, Cielo is still working on that. Gale! You have Holy Beast, correct? Yes, you do. Okay. That means it's time for you to work on getting Bolt Emperor. Well, what's in here, though? Mudun, we can curse the death. Why did I think it was otherwise? I'm just being forgetful. Okay, gotta grab that, then we're gonna grab this, then this. So this is, uh, 350,000. 350 times 3 is over a million. Oh, jeez. So, in order for everybody, so... For Gale, Heat, and Argilla to gain their resistances... I'm gonna need 1.5? 1.6 million? Oh boy. Fortunately... Surf... Seraph isn't weak to anything. Which is 
kind of nice, actually. <laughs> Should I save? Nah, we'll be fine. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to buy more things at the shop. I sold the freaking flowers, but I forgot to buy things. So, Johnny Boy, I'm curious, how the fuck did you die? I mean, is everyone already dead? Or what? We need more core shields, so we'll buy five more. Buy three more of these, just in case we need them. Fuck it, I'm gonna buy another golden box, just to see what's in it. A pink crystal! And a blood ruby. Neat. Uh, was there anything else? Nah, I'll just use up what I have first before I start buying more things. Okay, back into hell. Okay, go up the elevator, then through the damage. Gotta deal with these fuckers first. then. I like how we barely made any progress and we're already half an hour in. It's great. And I'm not sure if it's because I'm underleveled or what. I mean, I'm probably a little bit underleveled for this. Probably not by much, though. And of course it's a... And of course before it was a damage range, now it's just a one-shot. For Scotty. Okay, up the correct elevator this time. Do 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 Flying through the air. I'm gonna guess it's another one way. Oh, great. So, pick your poison. Which door do you, is the correct one? <sighs> well. Really, that didn't kill her? Well, this will. Give me that MP back, you son of a prick. Cullen, what are you weak to? Is it the same thing as your uh, younger self? No, it's poison and nerve. Well, that's just fucking great. So, figures that, uh, what's Colin weak to? Stuff I don't have. That looks like a heal ball. Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. Uh, do I happen to have anything that has poison on it? Or nerve damage, specifically? 
Uh, wait, wouldn't that would be under? Yeah, that'd be under magic. Petrifies death. We're looking for nerve, sleep, no, stun, neural shock. That'll work. That'll work for Cullen. At the very least. Restoration. Fucking Horus! Hey, Horus, guess what? Eat death, you son of a bitch. Or not. I said, eat death. Okay, no threes. Magic repel. Okay, jackass. Yeah, gun and death. Apparently, I just didn't want to stick. Pass. Revert back to human form. Shoot the bird. Eat it, you prick. Oh, that was annoying. Am I the only one who thinks restoration notes should be free? It's like, where's this money even going? Well, okay, was this actually worth it? What's this? A single chakra pot. I do not think it was worth it. Technically, he's gonna gain the maximum for this anyway, so. I mean. Yeah, like I thought. But if it didn't, then I was gonna be very annoyed. Death spray, counter, and quick escape. So, the answer to my all my problems was to just use my incenses. Why am I not fucking surprised? I really want to use this just to see what it will look, what it would look like. But I'm gonna wait until I find someone that's weak to fire, or may not fuck me over with it. That's the main thing: not getting fucked over by it by a fucking resistance. Core shield effect is worn off. Blah 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 blah. <sighs> More damage tiles and a save point. Well, that's handy. I finally found one. Ow. We pass. Zio. The fact that heat <laughs> takes over rolling skills is kind of stupid, but not surprising. Uh. Wait, what am I doing? You guys don't do anything with fire. Okay, that was kind of cool. Not gonna lie, that looked a little nice.
Okay, that did look a little nice. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. But uh, let's get to the save point so I can save. A little blocked off wall. Okay, save. So I don't have to redo everything again. Well, we're already past the point uh, of uh, where your first playthrough would end in Digital Devil Saga 1. Okay, we're grabbing this. Grabbing this. And once we got that... Then we can start really filling this list in. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Eventually, gonna master this, open up this, figure out what the fuck this is. And at that point, we would have. Oh, other. Th yeah. That is the last esoteric mantra we need to basically unlock. Neat! So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stat passive bonuses. And. Wait a minute. Why is this one the odd one out when it comes to the arrangement of these? Because here's the middle. Uh, no, no, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. Your OCD is just gonna screw you over, what you do. Don't think about it, and it won't be a problem. The minute you start thinking about it is when the OCD kicks in and you start having a conniption fit. For about five seconds. This isn't a uh, school anymore where you have to constantly rearrange things on top of your desk. Oh, hi, Oi Maikane. You think you can defeat us? Our treasure is heavy, but we are swift as wind. Only magic will work, but only we know which magic will work. How lucky do you feel? Let's find out, shall we? Well, this is a bit of a bitch. Uh... So, Seraph can't do fucking squat. And we got four out of the five elements covered, because I do not have Teradyne on Gale. Oh, boy. Oi, my Kane. Okay, I forgot the L. Okay, what's are the patterns for... Uh... Let's see. If we can figure out one weakness, we're good. So essentially, okay, so that's how the patterns work, just to refresh myself. These fuckers each have a different elemental resistance, but the order in which they show up is random. But if we can figure out this guy, then the rest of them 
follow a set pattern. In that case, uh, but the thing is, I need to hit this guy with the correct freaking elemental resistance. Fortunately, I only need to hit them once in order for us to get the reward. So, what are my options here? Impale stone? The block ring? Well, I can use Impale Stone and the Block Ring. I could use the Variable Ring and the Block Ring. Uh, I can use the pass ring, or I could do the easy method. Do 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 do. Since I'm emulating this shit, I could just save state this crap. Well, let's figure out douchebag number one. Are you fire? No. Are you wind? No. Okay. Load. Are you ice? Yes. Okay, if he's ice, then the next guy is Zeo. See, Ice, Zeo, Agi, Zan. So the guy on the far right is Terra. Which means this guy should be weak to Zandai. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Okay. If we pass... We're only going to be able to hit three of them. But that's better than nothing. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so Augie, then, is the guy in the center. Unfortunately for me, I can't do anything else because elemental stones ain't gonna do squat to you fuckers. Jackpot! Overload. Ow. Mer. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. And that's a lot of experience. And we almost mastered World 2. Wow. And we leveled up twice. Full heal! Luck increase! Supposed by I collect some as opposed to formulate strategies, and we get a chakra pot. There's something in my teeth, have a hand. Magic mirror. Well, that was worth it. Okay, that's a way down. That's also a way down, and there's a door. Well, I'm gonna head back to the save point now. Guess here I just got like 450,000 bucks. Hi, Palace Athena. You missed. You get fucked.
Go goddamn toast. <sighs> okay, let's kill Scotty. Consume you. And the world has been mastered. Okay, we're gonna get unlock a lot of shit for this. Okay, so yeah, like I thought, Omoi Kane is gonna be the only way to do a shit ton of farming in this dungeon. Oh great, that's gonna be a lot of RNG luck in order for him to show up. Oh, that's gonna suck. So, killing Omoi Kane, as we just saw, is very worth the very much worth it. The downside is if you're playing this legitimately on a console or uh yeah, basically a console, you basically have to uh reset every single time he shows up. But if you're playing this on like an emulator like I am, well just quick save and quick and quick load and make sure you have all your spells on. I imagine if I got all five, I would be getting a lot of fucking money. I had the Rich Ring on, too. If that actually affects all my Kane, I'm gonna be happy. If it doesn't, I don't care, I just got 4.5. 450, actually. Okay, what's the secret mantra that I finally got? Secret mantra has been unlocked. What is it? Really, it's just a stat bonus? Through the power of the hidden mantra, the party stats increase by one. Really? Are you... <laughs> serious with that shit? It's just a one? Oh my god. That's so dumb. Anyway, though, now we got that. We can work on this. Eh, uh, getting to Argilla's uh, thing is going to be really fast for the most part. What am I gonna get to Cielo, though? Uh, I don't know what to get to. C I don't know what to give Cielo. I mean, I might as well work on getting all of his null resistances. Cra crap. Yeah, let's gra grab semi recarm as well. That way, we can grab this eventually. Okay, so, uh, I, s save, save, save. Okay, now that's out of the way. We continue onwards, and I feel like my commentary has been scatterbrained this entire di episode. I almost said entire day. And I forgot to upgrade, uh, move sets again. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I thought so. Gotta walk back again. First things first. Upgrade. Gonna grab this. Uh, 
Uh, da, 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 da. Is there anything else I should grab? Put on everybody. Oh yeah, I need to put uh, Argilla's thing on. And I just realized that she does not have. Uh, she does not have uh, mutual karma. Well, that's fun. So our Jill is going to be on the uh, weaker end for once. It's not Gale that's getting shafted by the lack of experience. It's Arjula's turn. Uh, half tempted just to hang around this save point for a bit and just uh, grind up Arjula's uh, wind skills for a bit for a few minutes. Very tempted to do so. I'm so glad Neural Shock counts as an attack spell. Nom nom. Nom nom. Well, let's see, what's, uh, how much time do I have on the clock? Six minutes, basically. So, yeah, I'm just gonna walk around here for... Well, uh... This is interesting. Seraph was dumbfounded. Well, I see that uh, Heat and Seraph look uh, amazing as Berserker modes. I'm okay with that. That could have been, could have been anyone else besides uh, people that are immune to physical attacks, for the most part. Could have been anyone else, but I will accept that outcome. Slowly but surely getting up here. Slowly and steady wins the race. We're going to save again. Just in case the emulator decides to, uh, bork my, uh, attempts at progression. That is my inconsistent schedule that's fucked me over first. Oh wow, I just got hit with the freaking exhaustion. Out of nowhere. Uh. Mm, choices, choices. Well, actually, there's not that many choices. I think I'm gonna call it here. <sighs> just before the game decides to just say, no, you're done for today. Ah, well, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGuy21. This has been Let's Play Digital Devil Soccer 2. In the next episode, we will continue to slowly make our way through the sun. It's just taking a lot longer than it has any right to. But until then, thank you for watching out Warner Fleeting, and I'll see you all next time.
天。